The pandemic is having a profound effect on many small businesses. Governor Tim Walz took a step toward helping them this week by allowing curbside delivery. But advocates say it doesn't go far enough and they want the legislature to do more. Almanac North producer Greg Grell talked with Mike Hickey of the National Federation of Independent Business about the plight of small businesses. A lot of, a lot of hurt and a lot of negative impact, Greg. You know, we have an unprecedented crisis here. And uh, we're really worried about how long uh, small businesses that have been forced to close can remain closed before we lose them. And so we're at two months now, roughly. And uh, can they really survive another month or two more months? So I really think we're at a break point right now. Now, Governor Walls this week uh, allowed curbside delivery and uh, pickup for small businesses. Uh, is that helping some? It's going to help a few. We haven't been able to measure the impact yet. There's so many factors involved with that. Does the company, the business have a very detailed website? Uh, or do they just list a few uh, popular products? Uh, can people really shop effectively on their website? All kinds of issues about website development, detail a website. It's, it's had to help a few. We, uh, we don't know yet uh, on the impact of that. But we've got to go way beyond that, Greg. We're strongly urging the governor in an alert we sent out yesterday uh, to reopen businesses. And we'll have to work with uh, guidelines for a safe shopping experience. But really what's got our members upset, and it's, you know, it's very unfair and very unjustifiable in our opinion, that we can go crowd into big box retailers, but you can't have uh, you know, a shopping experience at a small business that might be a lot safer. There might not be anybody in the shop or possibly just a few individuals. And uh, I've, been, I've been in some of the big box stores and it's been crowded. It's concerning, it's concerning to me, concerning to anyone. And so there, there's, a real, uh, there's a real contradiction there and our members are very upset about that. What do you think would uh, be uh, useful right now to help out small businesses? What kind of action would you like to see? Well, they just need to reopen. I mean, the federal government has spent a ton of money here. You know, we're over three trillion total on the PPP loans, and uh, that has not worked out as well as uh, we wanted, obviously. Some people have been helped, but they just need to reopen and uh, with safety guidelines. And the bill yesterday that the Senate is going to be their vehicle to uh, voting to overturn uh, Governor Walz's order at some point, if it's needed, uh, stated that you have to comply with uh, safety uh, recommendations developed by the Minnesota Department of Health and CDC. And there's all kinds of things we could do. There could be a limitation on how many people you can have in a shop uh, based on square footage. Ohio is limited to 10. Uh, there's other social distancing requirements that could be, uh, could be imposed or strongly recommended. And I, I think the small business community would accept all of that with open arms if they could just reopen. What about uh, the loans and other uh, options that are out there for small businesses? Have those been adequate? Have they been able to access them? Uh, what are the issues there? We had a lot of problems with the rollout. You know, they passed another, uh, another large uh, uh, bill on that, but people had a lot of trouble on the first go around. I think it's improved, but uh, you know, obviously it's, it's not reaching everyone. Uh, it's reached too many corporations. It's reached too many people who had a previous banking relationship. And the person, the, the, you know, the entities that were really trying to help were the very small businesses that possibly don't have a banking relationship. And, uh, you know, hopefully the second bill and the second round of funding is getting more to the target. But we hear, uh, you know, we're hearing uh, accounts of major colleges, uh, foundations receiving money. How could that possibly even be allowed under the bill? It was to try to save small businesses. What's your long-term outlook for small businesses? I mean, this is obviously devastating for many of them, but do you see that a lot of businesses may end up closing in the end? Uh, it's a kind of a desperate situation. Well, that's what we're so concerned about, Greg. If we can't reopen soon, uh, it just very, really fear a huge uh, number of closures in the small business community. How long can a business you know, stay you know, totally dormant or possibly running on 10 to 20% of its previous revenue? And uh, we've got to reopen very soon. It's affecting the state. You know, a $2.5 billion budget deficit has been uh, projected. And we lost a $1.5 billion surplus. It's a swing of about $4 billion. This is the impact the state. The longer, you know, our economy stays closed, multiple problems 
are rising, but the state's feeling it themselves. How big will this deficit get if we stay in a state of shutdown? All right. Well, Mike Kiki, the state director of the National Federation of Independent Business, thanks very much for joining us today. Absolutely.